I was really young and I was watching documentaries about space and it just really fascinated me. He's just one of these kids that you sense that he's, he's going to do, do something great. Space Camp Mission Control. Not many kids get accepted into Space Camp in Huntsville, Alabama. It's a program that puts children through what astronauts would train for. I'm here at Space Camp in Huntsville, Alabama and I'm staying for a week. I'm so excited and I can't wait. Not many kids are like Dean Morris, who's just turned 13. When I was 10 years old, I had my flight, first flight lesson. This is what I want to do. Dean beat thousands of hopefuls to win the week-long International Space Scholarship. The whole world was applying for it and only a few kids got chosen. That's a pretty big deal. Yes. <laughs> Live and work aboard space shuttles and the International Space Station. The aspiring astronaut took part in mock space missions and gravity-defying simulators like this one-sixth gravity chair. It's a chair that they strap you up to and it simulates the moon's gravity. Um, you sort of get an idea of what astronauts would go through. Heady stuff for a 13-year-old from Thornley, but Dean Morris has lofty goals. He wants to one day walk on Mars. Everyone's planning to send people to Mars about when I'm the right age to be an astronaut. So everyone's trying to get our generation to be involved and I think it's a great opportunity. But you've got to crawl before you can walk and you've got to learn to be a pilot before you can become an astronaut. So Dean's already started his aviation studies here at Melville Senior High School. As a student, he's very mature. He's got a lot of things on the go all the time. He's like a, he's a 40-year-old in a 12-year-old's body or 13-year-old's body. So you remember, Dean, when we were flying the aircraft? We've got... Teacher and flying instructor Randall Brink says Dean's mission to space camp was a big boost for all the students. They think, well, if he can do it, then why can't I? And I always try to get the kids to do as best they can and just see what the outcome is. When he can tear himself away from the flight simulator, Dean runs an animal rescue charity in his spare time. I have a charity called GORSAT, Give Our Strays a Chance. Um, so I raise awareness of adopting and donating to animal shelters. As for Space Camp, that was one small step for Dean Morris and one giant leap towards his aeronautical dreams. Do you still want to be an astronaut? Yes. It made me want to be one even more. It's going to be a lot of hard work, but I think it would be worth it. I'm sure I'm going to be sitting there when I'm old and decrepit, looking at the TV, and he's going to be putting his foot on, on Mars. You know, that's, that's what I, how I feel at the moment.